But if you're finding me and Larry for the first time, please subscribe to my channel, subscribe to his. Links are both in the video description of this channel. We talked this past Monday about the destruction of the Tejada family, as well as who is Effie's secret connect. Now, people are in love with this girl. Take a look at this chick. This is Effie right here. People want to well, see damn. her back on this show. I, mean, I got another one. I got another one for you. They want <laughs> to see Effie up here bad as hell. They don't want to let Effie die. All right. And I think I figured out a way that we can we can get the destruction of the Tejada family co-mingled with a connection to bring Effie back. Do you guys not remember that someone said they didn't want anything really to happen to the Tejada family? Take a look at this. I mean, to the GTG family. Take a look at this. Lot's father took a bullet for me. Send Drew to talk to him. Mm hmm mm. That's Lorenzo Tejada saying little Guap's father took a bullet for him. He wanted right. Drew to make peace not came to make war that is going to get back to him he's from find out monet has something to do with it and that is going to be the deterioration of the family and we might figure out that he has been keeping effie who could possibly be his daughter from monet because she was a side piece chick and then we could possibly see the opening up of that storyline too larry what you think? Yeah, it could be, or it could be like, like uh, maybe Effie's is like Guap's daughter, and maybe you know, maybe could she be. was, maybe she her connect was GTG or something. GTG. I don't know. Right, right. <clears throat> I mean, there it it could be, it could be all kinds of of stuff mixed up in there. Mm -hmm. I don't know. It, it's gonna be interesting. I wouldn't be surprised if there's some direct connection between Effie and Tahada and and see what goes down with that i don't know because it seems like you know she made it seem like she was on her own so i wouldn't be surprised if maybe if tahada early on stepped out on monet and he had this daughter out of wedlock and, and in order for him to keep the peace in his own household he just like sent her to private school and kept her taken care of exactly and that was that yeah so yep. exactly you know now, so now i can see something like that now now before i move on uh, to finish my thought on that, let me shout out the brother D'Angelo Washington. Anytime your name is D'Angelo, I bet you got like 60 babes following behind you. I've never <laughs> met a D'Angelo who ain't <laughs> knocking them back. Brother, whenever you super <sighs> chat, super sticker this channel, we give you something visually funny to say we appreciate you. And uh, let's see here. Which one can I give him? I'll give him this one because we haven't used this one in a long time. Because we're we're this grateful to what you just did. Am I the meanest? Sure no. Am I the prettiest? Sure no. Am I the baddest mofo low down around this town? Sure no. Well, who am I? Sure no. Who am I? Sure no. I can't hear you. Sure no. The shogun of Harlem. Yeah. <laughs> That's right, brother. As of right now, you are the shogun of this live stream for that great super chat. I appreciate you, and I really, really thank you. Now, back to... Man, I'll tell you, when you show a clip like that, mm -hmm. I, I feel like I, I want to see a little vanity in there, you know? Well, you for know, all y'all who forgot about, you know, we, we all love showing up. We all love, uh, you know... Uh, Bruce Leroy, but let's not forget Vanity was in that spot. Hey, well, you know what? I'm gonna step my game up. I, I'm gonna step the <laughs> game up. I'm gonna keep the classics coming. As as long as people keep super chatting, you will keep getting these classic throwbacks from whenever. You know, if you need some memes, this debate, this debate was giving you all kinds of memes that you could cut up. <laughs> it it sure would, but you know what? I love my audience too much. Uh, and, and I'll I'll get to that at the end of this debate. I mean, at the end of this. Oh, live shut week, up, man! We, we, we'll get there. We will definitely get there uh, because that was not what we should be showing to the rest of the world. I mean, the rest of the world outside of America already has a bad perception of us. When they think of us, they think of people like Trump, fat, entitled, yeah. redneck, fat, stupid, ugly Americans. Think you know something and you really don't. That's what they think of America outside of america but we'll get to that in a minute now back to 
Back to Little Miss Effie and this casting and her connection to Lorenzo. Lorenzo is going to be mad when he finds out that Drew, I mean, excuse me, Kane beat up Little Guap. Yeah. And like Larry said. He didn't just beat him up. He put him, he, that dude's got to be in the hospital for a minute. He embarrassed he, him. He that dude damn near to death. He embarrassed him. You know, I mean, he beat him like an African drum. He beat the hell out of him. And that wasn't even embarrassment. I mean, I think that dude is a, is a is a hair's breadth away from from death. That's just, I mean, okay, man. So, ladies and gentlemen, my homegirl Muchella, who hangs with the fellas, is saying that Effie is one and done. We won't see her no more. Not mm. this season, anyway. Mm. So, anybody that's having that little wet dreams about Effie, there's a great likelihood we might not see her. But it's always fun. It's always fun to speculate. She'll be back. Yeah, but I think you that know, she might. Maybe uh, you know, maybe um, uh, since Keisha's not going to Pepperdine, maybe Effie's going to take her scholarship, go out to California, hook up with Tommy, and Tommy's going to mentor her, and she's going to be the she's going to be the West Coast ghost. Man, <laughs> in any event, ladies and gentlemen, before we move on. <laughs> Our final, on, our man. final. I'm coming our, up with these great theories for you. You're just, just just dismissing them. I didn't dismiss nothing. I didn't say <laughs> nothing. I, I mean, you you put your theory out there. It's out there into the ether. The world heard it. And hey, they know now. <laughs> but ladies and gentlemen, our final thesis to support what we said on Monday's live stream about the destruction of the Tejada family. It's not going to come from Tariq. It's probably going to come from the daddy because he is going to be not happy about what Monet did to Little Guap and him having that code to Little Guap's people. 